What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here again from the beautiful Dominican Republic. Actually, in my office right now. Um, so first off, let me get a video of this hat right here, the Flip Flop Sports Bar hat. Um, don't forget Flip's B-Day weekend in November, November 15th to the 17th and 18th. Uh, I've been taking reservations already. A lot of people hit me up. We're running out of spots fast, so contact me, email me, hit me on Instagram, WhatsApp, whatever it, whatever it is you, you got me on. And uh, if you want to reserve spots, because they are going fast, it will be a fun weekend, and you guys have time. It's not until November, but you want to reserve your spot. Okay, uh, first off, this video will be dispelling any rumors and giving you facts about myself, because I think there's been some things said about me, about certain people, you know, chatty patties, um, that aren't true, true, whatever the case may be, but me being me, I have to talk about it. Now, the Haiti video. I believe the Haiti video went over some of your heads. The video was not about immigration policies or politics. The video was about dispelling the myth and the rumor that Dominicans are massacring, rounding up Haitians and massacring Haitians and killing black people. That's what the video was about. It was not about policies, it was not about immigration. It was about dispelling the rumor that Dominicans are killing Haitians and killing black people. Okay, as, as I keep hearing the media machine in the States is talking about. That's all it was about. Okay, so point blank, I deleted a lot of disrespectful comments because some of you get a little beside yourself, but we had good conversation and, you know, I'm bringing you boots on the ground info, so you decide what you want to believe. Um, so a couple people said, hey man, you know, doing business, you may want to be careful about what you say. If I worry about what people think about me, I wouldn't be me. All the decisions I make, all the things I do, I do because I want to do. If you choose not to come to Flip Flop because I'm giving you factual info or real info, no problem. But I have to be real. I can't be no one else. Um, so someone goes, hey, man, you're a Sasua blogger. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. And no knock to any YouTuber, but I'm different. I've been all over this country. I have over 10 years of experience I'm giving you. I'm not just Sasua in this four block radius, you know. Um, get you a map out right now. I have a list of places I've been to show you the difference between me and everyone else. And like I said, no knock to anyone. I'm well-traveled because that's what I do. So I'll give you a quick list. It's, it's a, lot of, a lot of cities I've been to. Uh, no particular order. Uh, San Cristobal, Bani, Oswa, San Juan de la Magua, Las Martes de Farfan, uh, Mao, Santiago Rodriguez, Bonao, Villa Altagracia, Jaina, Costanza, Navarrete, Esperanza, Gaspar Hernandez, Nagua, Las Terrenas, Rio San Juan, Villa Gonzalez, Mocha, La Vega, San Francisco de Macari, San Pedro, Hato Mayor, Wandolio, Punta Ruscia, Sanchez, Cabrera, Luperon, Imbert, Harabacoa, and of course, Santiago, Santo Domingo, Boca Chica, blah, blah, blah. So, as you can see, I'm well-traveled. I don't know many people that have traveled to the cities I've been to because a lot of people don't, and I go to places people won't go or can't go. That's just me. That's the type of person I am. That's what separates me from everyone else. I'm well-traveled. Um, so, you know, in this, in this channel, you get a lot of information, not just about Sasua. Um, so, like I said, not to knock anyone, but... I'm giving you boots on the ground. I'm giving you the real info. Um, I'm not sitting home on my sofa. I'm not giving you fourth party info. I'm not giving you other people's videos and commentary and rumors. I'm giving you factual information. Um, you're not talking to somebody that doesn't speak the language, doesn't understand the culture. I don't know what's going on with those guys. I'm talking about me. Um, basically, sometimes I see these videos and I'm like, it's like the blind leading the blind. You know, their only knowledge is the four block radius of Sasua. Unfortunately, in my 10 years, over, my, over my, my 10 years and more that I've been here, I have traveled and learned a lot about the country and the culture. So you choose to watch what you wanna watch, but just remember, are you gonna get information from someone that doesn't know anything? Or are you gonna to listen to someone who knows and has been through it? Because there's a lot more videos I got coming about a lot of things I've been through. I've been hesitating on posting some things because they're a little sensitive to, to certain people in this country. Um, so I've got to watch that, you know. But Dominican Republic as a whole is a beautiful country. And that's what I'm bringing to you, the beauty of the country. I'm giving you the information 
to get you, get you better suited for when you travel, also get you ready for when you want to move down and become an expat. So for me, like I said, I don't follow too many people. I, I just started this YouTube thing recently. I'm thinking I'm eight, nine months in right now. And I see a lot of people, it's like the blonde leading the blonde. So, you know, I have to keep giving you what I'm giving you and my information. As we proceed, friends and family, shout to Rick from Colorado for the hat. I'm loving it. Um, appreciate all you guys. So as we continue, I mean, as I said, this is the PSA, the facts about me or whatever. Um, you know, everything I do is me. All the traveling, all the interacting with the locals. Um, as you know, I got the DR Crib series. Every single DR Cribs is are cribs that are owned or built or rented by my people. So I don't just go shoot random cribs. These are old people I know to show you guys how you can live if you decide to come down here long term. Um, so I'll give you a quick backstory about me because I think some people got me a little bit confused about who I am. I'm not a YouTube character. I'm a real person. I'm really w very well known from where I'm from and in different areas of New York and on the East Coast. So I'll give you a little backstory. So, you know, I said it before. I grew up in South Jamaica, Queens. Uh, you know, my mother's white. My father's black. I'm half Irish. So I got picked on a little bit, you know, called white boy, stuff like that. You know, it was fun. It was, it's funny now, but back then it wasn't so funny to me because I was the only kid with a white mother in the black neighborhood. Uh, so I guess I got bullied a little bit, but then uh, one day I realized I could fight. So there was no more bullying me, you know. Um, I actually started bullying the bullies. Look it up, Lyndon Bully. Um, and, you know, a lot of my friends, uh, I guess you would call squares or, or, or nerds, some people say, because anybody I saw getting bullied, I would go defend them, you know. I, I kind of picked on the bullies because I didn't, I didn't like how I felt when I got bullied, you know. So I've kind of had like a protective nature. Um, I'm really, I'm really very helpful, as you see people who have met me. Um, so you know, it's just me, you know. I'm not really with all the nonsense and, and and the BS. I mean, we got some guy running around here saying, "Oh, Flip doesn't own his business." <sighs> Look, I said it before. I say it again. Whatever you want me to be. I'll be the bartender, I'll be the taco prepper, whatever you want me to be. As long as you come to Flip Flop, get the best food, the best service, hands down, and the coldest beers in Dominican Republic, I'm cool. You know, I don't care what people say about me because it, it kind of really doesn't do anything to me. It just shows that crabs in the barrel mentality and how, how people hate so much and how people can go to another country and be miserable. I'm actually doing an expats video tomorrow. I'll post it up this week. Um, you know, just expat, some expats are just miserable and they bring that crabs in the barrel mentality down here. And, you know, they're phony. So it is what it is. Um, I, someone made some comments that I'm arrogant. Well, listen, I have a strong sense of self. I'm very confident, you know. Um, for me, if you've been where I've been, seen what I've seen, survived what I survived, you'd be a little arrogant too. I, I call it more confidence, maybe a little conceited. But I've been through a lot. So for me to still be here at 40 years old, about to be 41, don't forget the birthday, y'all. Um, you know, I feel, I feel blessed. You know, I ask God every day. I pray, I pray every single day. And I ask God, I don't know why I'm still here and my peoples are dying around me. I've lost a lot of friends in the past couple of years, but I'm blessed to still be here, especially the things I survived, you know. So I guess you would say yeah, a little arrogant, a little conceited, a little, but overly confident. Maybe it is what it is. But I'm here giving great information. I feel it's great information. For you guys who, who appreciate it, I'm, I appreciate you. And you know, it, it's all love at the end of the day. So I appreciate all my, all my subscribers. I appreciate all my followers. I appreciate all you guys for watching. I'm going to continue to do what I do. Continue to bring you great content. Continue to bring you great videos. I have a vacation coming up. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me the entire vacation. And try to get as much footage as I can to show you guys the beauty of this country. As I said, I'm going places they can't go. They won't go, and I'm going by myself, and I'm going to have a ball, and we're going to bring you guys along with me in this journey. Uh, I believe I'm leaving on the 5th or 6th, and I'm just going to run around the uh, run around the country and have a good time. I actually put my Columbia trip on hold so I could do this because I wanted to just get out and uh, travel a little bit in DR because I haven't really gone out as much as I used to. Uh, so I appreciate you guys once again. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. I do this, guys, I do this for you guys. All right, so I appreciate all you, all love. Mr. Flip Flop, stay tuned.